Top three things in my notebook this morning, the S&P 500 being oversold, uh, oil number two, and the gold price being overbought at number three. So the S&P 500's risk range, you know, you tapped the bottom end of the range last week, you had people freak out with the VIX overbought, and what you get is an oversold signal again for U.S. stocks. So we would uh, just champion buying things that you like, obviously, when you pull back. There's a big difference in the S&P 500's 1881 price, which you could have had. Uh, you could have bought stocks at 1881 on, at the beginning of March, on the 11th of March, or you could buy them at 1841, 40 handles lower, uh, which we'd much prefer on an oversold signal with, again, the VIX signaling immediate term trade overbought. Point number two, oil finally breaking down a little bit more here this morning. Uh, it broke the hedge eye trend line last week. That's 108 spot 57 on Brent. And again, oil down would be a good thing because, again, the consumer needs it. The consumer is getting inflation out the wazoo, whether it be food, energy, natural gas. Yeah, you had to pay the front month of the bill, by the way, on net gas, uh, rent, et cetera. Across the board, obviously, you see some inflation. So getting that off the consumer's back is probably the most bullish thing in my notebook this morning with WTI trading down through 99. It's also broken from a trend perspective. Uh, gold, finally, immediate term trade overbought, number one. Uh, number two, has a massive net long position if you look at futures and options contracts, 123,007 contracts uh, currently to the net long side of gold. So no, you don't buy gold on an overbought signal or when everyone else and their brother is buying you know, gold futures. So again, uh, just play the risk range as opposed to chasing at the, at the highs. Yes, it's been a fantastic call. Gold up 15% for the year to date versus the Dow down three. That's a massive spread. Obviously, 1,800 points wide in terms of the performance spread, uh, 18 percentage points wide, which is huge. Uh, and again, those are your top three things.